Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are coming at you from the Big Red Sand Dune outside of Birdsville and home of the Big Red Dash. From here, we're going to jump onto the Birdsville track and head down into South Australia, making our way down to the small town of Mahali. So we hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get into it and have a bit of fun. You can tell how muddy it was recently, yeah, eh? Yeah, it's been completely cut up, but thankfully you can tell there's been enough traffic through to make at least one smooth-ish line. It's good. So what we've done is we've come down the western side of Big Sandy. Instead of turning around and trying to climb back up it, because we're just getting sandblasted there. It's so windy today and it's coming from me, so it's just peppering here on top of that sand dune. We've come down, we've hooked the left and we're heading back towards, um, I think it's known as Little Red. Yeah, and you just called that Big Sandy too. Ah, oh, not Big Sandy. That's in the Byfield National Park. Big Red. My apologies. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're heading back. This is sort of where the road detours off to head out to go to Big Red. Um, we'll probably tackle this sand dune. And failing that, we'll turn around and go back, but I'll have to let my tyres down. Like I'm still fairly high. Um, I didn't really need to drop them for Big Red. Not that main track anyway. So, Mama, you gonna drive this sand dune? I'll give it a whirl. That's good. Go, Mama. Hey, Mama. Did you, did you have fun? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, take two was much better. Just needed to give it a little bit more grunt to get over that top bit. But I yeah. reckon if we, our tyres were down a bit more, we would have got over Underways. that first time. But yeah, a little bit more right foot. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit more right there. foot. Liam thought it was hilarious. And Heathy slept through it all. So Heathy slept through it all. Yeah, and, and he was like bouncing everywhere. He was bouncing everywhere. And he slept through it the whole thing. He did. All right, I'm going to catch the drone. Um, we've had our fun. Like we're not 
interested in chasing more sand dunes we've climbed sand dunes before but we wanted to come and see it it is awesome to come and see like i said i would love to come out to the big red bash one year um while the kids are young it's not really the great time for us i reckon maybe in the next few years if we've got the opportunity we'll do it yeah. it was also really nice to meet someone at the top of big red who went to the bash this year and just showed us where everything was laid out and how it worked with the rain and the mud it was pretty cool so, yeah. so how, do you, how, how do they do it do so we are now it? going to head the 38 k's back we'll to, to uh, birdsville yep. we need to get fuel uh, a couple of grocery items because we're going to leave first thing tomorrow um, and head the Birdsville track down into South Australia will pop us out in Mari. So yeah, we will go get our errands done. I'll probably put some grease in bits and pieces around the car and caravan and uh, yeah, we'll get out of here in the morning. Yeah, keen as. Let's go. All right, we have stopped for morning tea. Let the kids stretch their legs a little bit. The first, what, 150 k's we've done has been easy as. Yeah. Like, we had two k's of rocky has section. It's really been 150 k's. I think so. Well, yeah, we've been okay. driving for, or well, maybe not quite, maybe 100 k's, because we're only sitting on about 70. Um, but anyway, we're, yeah, it's been pretty well smooth sailing, one rocky section. Um, this wind is horrendous. I don't know if you can hear it outside. It's, um, yeah, pretty full on. But thankfully, it's sort of coming behind us and off to the side so it's actually blowing the dust away from us as we're creating it which has been pretty good and any passing cars the dust is getting taken away from them so we're not even driving in any dust so yeah we're kind of thankful for it in that sense um, and the flies aren't too bad out here so everything in here is good nothing's budged i might let a little bit more air out of the tires just in case we hit some more of those rocky sections um but otherwise yeah we're going going pretty well we'll find somewhere to stay tonight but if it's going to be this sort of windy and disgusting, we might Probably try and just get, honestly keep moving. Yeah, yeah. it's not worth it. Get some more case done. Oh, you can't have a fire. You can't be outside. Yeah, it yeah, wouldn't be much fun. Yeah. But I think the wind is meant to start dropping off, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Is that good? Is it? What about you, Heidi boy? Are you eating? Yum yum. He's having some apple pear and cinnamon. Yum. Liam's having a yummy Milo and a Cajun bar. Yum yum. Mum is having a nice coffee. I'm having a nice coffee. Desperately need the iced coffee today. Poor little Heaty boy is not sleeping so well, so Mum is not sleeping so well. Mmm. Mm. But why are we going to South Australia? Why didn't we go across the top? Well... Wow. Hey, where's Mama going? Down at the bottom. You ate it. No, I only ate the top part. It's in there. You it's in it. there. You can find it. It's like a treasure. So we are going back to WA for Chrissy, um, and we need to stop for work soon, very soon. <laughs> um, so we had two choices, either keep going across the top like we did a couple of years ago, 
we'll go back south or through the middle. Like we've got three choices basically to get into WA. We originally had planned to go across the Great Central Road. That was our thoughts originally. Mix it up. But our mates, the Svetos, Brett is turning 40 and wants to celebrate it down in South Australia. So we've decided to head south and go join him for that. Instead of going down the Stuart Highway, which we've done three times already, we decided why not go check out some new roads, go check out Birdsville, head through uh, the Birdsville track back into South Australia and then we pop out near the Flinders so we can decide what we want to do when we get down there. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start heading south and uh, see what we get up to because we don't need to meet them for another three weeks yet. So we've got a bit of time up our sleeves. We've just come along the track about another, I'd say 60 or so k. Yeah. Would it be? Yeah. yeah, and the road's not been too bad. We've hit a few little areas of corrugations, but compared to what we've done before, it's been a breeze. So we're looking now at the the upcoming overnight camps, um, just using wiki camps and what's been flagged. So we've got a few to check out. Where the first one is called Bloods Creek, but we're aiming for one called Mount Gasson, which is another 20 k's. Heath is just working up, so we're now on the clock. So we'll just have a look as we go past and if there is a good clearing with a bit of shade then we'll probably stop for the day. It's 2.40 Queensland time which means that we're now at just past 2 in South Australian time. <laughs> it's only half an hour but it's going to make a difference at bedtime tonight. So yeah, we're almost there. Hopefully we can find a good spot to park up for the night. Just coming up on Bloods Creek now. We've just passed the turn off to the Warburton Crossing track. I honestly hadn't heard of that, so I'm going to check it out I think later. It takes you into the Gibson that makes sense because that's the only thing that is in that direction. Hopefully, there's a decent clearing here with a bit of shade. There's a few trees, which has been few and far between here. Looks a little sketchy, doesn't it? So, how was our first day on the Birdsville track? <laughs> yeah. It's so boring. It oh my is goodness. extremely boring. No wonder no one talks about it. There is not much to see. There's not much going on out here whatsoever. Yeah, it's a pretty good road. The road's pretty good. We it's, also it's... saw cows crossing the road. We did. Yeah. Yep, there were cows that were mustering with helicopters, which was kind of cool to watch. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot going on out here at all. Um, so it's just a means to an end, really. We'll see if tomorrow holds anything more exciting, but I think instead of three nights out here, it's probably going to end up being two. We covered a lot more ground today than I expected. It was just fine by us, right? Oh, yeah. Because we were, uh, we made a bit of a meal plan because we were going to stretch it thin. But having an extra day up, I sleeve will be good. We're going to stretch it out as much as we can, um, just because it's super expensive out here. Yes, <clears throat> super expensive. Um, fuel in Birdsville was... 272. 272, which is crazy. Yeah. But getting great fuel economy with this tailwind and going a little bit slower, so hopefully we won't need as much at the other end. in the car away from the fires. They came out in force this morning uh, but I've just run around, packed up the outside, cleansed it inside and then I've also just checked the tire pressures and the wheel nuts, make sure we don't have anything going wrong there but we are all good so we're about to jump back on the track uh, and keep going. We did 207 k's yesterday apparently, we're hoping to do about the same, wasn't it? 250 you said today? Because uh, there's a station we must have to do like a hot pour bath setup. Kind of thing. I don't know. 
but we want to go check it out. So we're hopefully we'll make it that far today. If not, we'll just find somewhere like this to stay again. Let's go. Yeah, Let's I hope, go. I hope we make it to the white place where I can have a bath and they just like mum. Yeah. Is it going to be a hot bath? Yep. Really hot? Yep. Yeah, you gotta let it cool down for a little while first before you get in it. <laughs> and dusty outside. It is windier than yesterday, believe it or not. So we tried to get off the road a little bit to stop the dust, but it's just billowing under the caravan. Um, so there was a fair bit of dust on the floor and we figured out it's coming in through under the fridge. Yeah, where the power cable, where the power cable comes in, which we haven't, which, it's been a problem, but not as much as it has been this time, it is. if that makes sense. Dad, yeah. when we're in the car, he spotted a lizard. He did. Before we went inside. Yeah, and we saw it, didn't we? Yeah. He's hiding in the little grassy bit. Yeah, then he went zooming away. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, and then I was planting seeds. Can I talk now? Yeah. yeah. So we just did a quick vacuum, um, and then all the table screws had come out again, but that's pretty normal. This is just another day, really. So Liam's put them back in for us, with a bit of help from Dad, and a few other bits and pieces. Nothing major, but we did hit some pretty big bumps in this one. Oh, just a couple of washouts. It's not even been corrugated or anything. It's just, yeah, there was a couple of washouts that were hard to see. Uh, we hit yeah. them just a little bit too fast. We're only sitting on about 50 at the moment. Um, but yeah, just didn't see them in time. We still hit them probably about 30, 40. So I usually take all the stuff out of the fusion locks, these things, um, because when the fusion locks break, they are a pain to replace. It. Like you, usually you'd have to order the parts, which is super or expensive, have or have to buy a whole new one. And Bunnings is one of the only places that sometimes stops them. So we tend to just take them down. So I'm gonna take them down now because this one had fallen off and I really don't want them to break. So before we leave, I'll take that one down. So we're just having a little break, um, get, get the kids out of their car. It sucks because it's so windy and so flyy, they can't really be outside at the moment. So by the time we get anywhere normal, they're gonna be just overloaded, yeah. So we'll do our best to entertain them in here for a few more days. I don't think the wind's gonna knock off. No, we're just having a little break. To tomorrow. Tomorrow's meant to be nice, as yeah. in like not windy. Sunshine and hot, um, which I say it all the time, I'd rather it be hot or I'd rather it be rainy. I hate yeah. Everything hard. Mm. Even just getting out the caravan door is hard at the moment. We're just coming up on a camp called Cooper's Creek Camp. It's managed by the station in this area. Etta Dunna. Etta Dunna. Etta Station. It's a donation camp, but we're just stopping for lunch. We're just trying to find somewhere that's not too dusty because that wind really is a menace today. Oh, and it's just kicking up so much dust. Oh, it doesn't look very good here, does it? No, it looks very dusty here too. Super dusty, but we're all hungry. I might nip in and hide behind that tree, that big tree. And it's dusty there too. I was going to say, I literally see the dust billowing. Um, I don't think we've got much of a choice here, babe. You can literally hear the sand getting blasted past the camera. so gross. I, I can't really see properly because it's so dusty. Yeah. Oh, this, this would have to be some of the worst wind we've encountered, I think. We probably wouldn't normally drive on a day like this, but thankfully it's coming from behind us. Um, not a headwind or a crosswind, which is good. Because, um, yeah, it's just disgusting. We're just hiding in the van. I'd rather just get some more caves done and go find somewhere else, but... Well, uh, yeah, we'll just try and get another 90 k's down to a um, station stay. 
and hopefully the wind backs off this afternoon um, and then see what the forecast is looking like over the next week that might decide might change our plans um, and we'll decide what we're going to do based on the weather i think I always just do a walk around and just check and see how the tyres are going, but I'm so impressed. You wouldn't have been able to tell that we just did 400 k's on rock and gravel. Um, and these tyres on the van, they're 18 months old. We got them down in Tassie. Um, so yeah, they're doing really well and the car, car tyres are doing really well as well. They wear a little bit quicker, obviously. They're working tyres. And they are a little bit older as well. But yeah, stoked with how everything's going so far. Showers, toilets, and hot artesian bath. Artesian? Clayton Wetlands Campsite. 20 bucks a night. Yeah, well, that's what I read, but I don't know where you can pay. I'm, I'm assuming there's like a donation tin over here somewhere. Let's find a spot to settle. It looks like it's not as dusty. Yeah, it seems more. I'm not going to hold my breath. More gravel and rock compared to sand compared to that other spot. At least there's trees here. Yeah. One tree. Two tree. Two tree. Oh, that's not a bad spot over there. Four tree. That is a big artesian bath. Yeah. Cool. I wonder if you have to fill it up or. I think you do have to fill it up. I don't think it's permanently full. Not sure if it, it just overflows when it got to a certain height and just ran off somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, word of advice, do not under any circumstances leave your windows open on a dirt track. Look at the amount of dirt right here. You could literally build a sandcastle with it. It's so bad. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and it's just, I vacuumed like most of this already. That's full of dust, I'm gonna have to take it outside. And like, look at it in here, it's so terrible. Yes, I've got a helper here. Thank God we carry a vacuum cleaner. Oh yes, I'm not gonna let you through because I know that you wanna play with the dirt. Hey, and you've already been playing with the other dirt, so go and play, play with that dirt. Mm -hmm. So the most devastating thing isn't the dust, I don't reckon. It's our coffee spilt. We drink the Makona instant coffee and this was fairly well full. And it's uh, tipped over and then gone back on itself, which is kind of weird, it tipped forwards, but then all the coffee ended up in this back corner and spilled everywhere. Luckily we have more stashed away. Um, so at the moment I'm just separating these two boards so I can get all the stuff that's fallen behind and try and clean it because coffee is hard to clean at the best of times. So yeah, this was our old microwave recess, which is why there's two boards there. Um, so I'm just going to take the top one off so I can clean it a little bit better behind there. <sighs> Not the coffee. There we go, all reorganized up there. Clem's done a great job down in the bathroom. It's all clean in here. Liam's on fly duty, aren't ya? Get them, Liam, get them. I can't reach. Oh, look at them all up there. Get them. Um, so yeah, crisis averted. It was just mess. Uh, we've never left a window open, so that was a new one for us. And our coffee tipped over. So we'll just pack that in a little bit better, but nothing broken. Everything was just playing up this. The last time we had the coffee tip over it, it was in a jar and it was under there. Oh yeah, under, under here. here. And it, We haven't not... opened it yet. No, I've just checked oh, it. It's, it's fine. All it's all good. I just stuck my head in there. We've still got coffee down there. Um, but it tipped over and then it got wet. It is so hard to clean coffee granules when they are wet. It took <laughs> ages. We had to take it all out. Yeah. Thankfully for me up here, I just scooped a lot of it into the... Um, food waste bin that we've got in the fridge and then um, other food scraps um, and then I vacuumed up the rest and I removed that shelf, cleaned it all from behind and put it all back together. Now I'm boiling the kettle so that I can do some dishes um, and clean the kitchen and then we can go back our 
No more business. Mm -hmm. right. Help. right, I'm making some things. Oh, thanks. Help. Help. We're coming, Liam. Right. <laughs> Let's pay for our night here. And I've just started filling up the bath. We do have some neighbours over the back here. They rolled in while we were busy cleaning up, or just as we finished cleaning up. Um, the water that's coming out of this bath is hot. Um, but I gave it a little flush first, and then now I've turned on the tap. And um, I'm just going to fill it about halfway. We'll let that fill up a little bit more, then I'll turn it off and we'll let it cool for a while because we don't really need a hot bath. A warm bath won't be too bad, but that is hot at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we'll let it cool and hopefully wind will drop down a little bit and we can sit in there with a drink in about an hour's time um, as the sun starts getting low in the sky. All right, <coughs> dinner is done. We missed the sunset, but only just by a couple of minutes. The wind has swung, it's now southerly, which is kind of weird. But we are now coming over to enjoy our bath. Yeah. What? No. I checked it, it was good. Oh no mate, you'll love that. It's, it's perfect, it looks it's like delicious. a bath. With all the flies. Do you want fly nets? No. Yeah. Good. Oh, Nothing like trying to make a coffee whilst getting hit by a fly spot. Liam, careful. On the windows, mate. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> okay, so overnight, I think it was one of the windiest nights we've ever had on the road. The whole van was like shaking. It was crazy. Um, and then it rained. So <laughs> it's it wasn't a really thick rain. It's sort of wet everything but not enough for it to run off the caravan so now everything's just extra dusty and a bit clumpy. I'll try and show you the windows. This one's probably the best bit. See the raindrops on the windows? Anyway everything just looks dirty now. Um, hold on mate I'm just talking. So today we're heading to Mari. We don't have much further to go from here. I think it's only about 80 k's from memory. So we're going to do that through our morning drive and then stop in Mari for water, dump the toilet. We need to get some milk and some fuel and then we're going to hit the Udnadana. Uh We're hoping that there hasn't been too much rain over the track overnight. So we barely got any here but it's overcast and it's cool and the wind has finally dropped off. Um, the flies are still horrendous. Mark went outside this morning to capture the sunrise and <laughs> got absolutely mobbed by flies. So. <laughs> Um, hopefully we have a better day today than we did yesterday. Uh, really? We've just had some yummy crumpets for breakfast and now Liam wants to say something. Uh, and, um, Mum thought there was going to be mud outside but there is actually no mud. Yeah, I don't like just, mud doing Liam. Just do it. And I am smacking flies. Yeah. What's the rules about smacking flies in our caravan? No doing them no curry. That's right, no smacking flies, no curry because she hates it. And no hitting people. And this is a fly. Yeah, but you have to ask first. Yeah, you can't just smack someone, can you? So Curie is uh, protesting us having kids over the last few days. She has really put her foot down um, 
about not being the only child anymore. And I still have two sunnies and two water bottles. <laughs> Dude, okay, no worries. All right, I'm gonna make us a second coffee and then I suppose we'll do the usual pack up and go. One, two, three, four, five. Emus this morning. Hi, Emus. Hi, Emus. And we saw our first kangaroos. We did. So, oh. Yeah, a couple of. You would think you would see a lot kangaroos. more kangaroos out here, but we haven't seen any for the last three days until this morning. We haven't seen much of anything for the last, no. <laughs> the last few days. So. Honestly, this has been one of the most boring roads. But uneventful is good. We had a bit of dust yesterday, but. Just a little bit of dust. <laughs> Other than that, it's been pretty uneventful, which is good. Uneventful is good. Yeah. But yeah, it's a boring road. There's not much to look at. I wonder what else we'll see today. All right, we have made it to Mari. We are on bitumen right now. Um, birds for track. We did it. We did it. I'm not sure if there's much more we can say about it. Oh, really? Not really. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're here in Mari. I've just checked Wikicams and unfortunately it's telling me on Wikicams that the water refill point, which we we're hoping to refill here at, is out of order. Um, there's mixed reviews the further back you go. So we're going to go and check that out now and suss it out for ourselves. It's not looking good. Um, and unfortunately we decided to do some washing this morning because we thought we were going to refill today. So we've probably got enough to get through a couple of nights, but we don't want to risk it so we'll go and check it out four maybe five nights if we stretched it if we stretched it yeah, yeah which we can do we've done it before um anyway we'll go and have a look and then we've got to go to the caravan park here to dump the toilet it's ten dollars apparently so maybe we could even get water from there we, if could, we, we could even look at how much it's going to cost us to stay the night and give the kids a break from the car and then yeah. that way dump the toilet and fill the water tank so well that might have to be an option might it all right. If we go spend ten dollars, spend a little anyway. It's, you know, Let me have a look. Murray Oasis Caravan Park and Cabins fees thirty-five dollars for a power site, power and water. So that's pretty good. That was two months ago, and it shouldn't have changed. <sighs> Welcome back to Murray, my love. Just for a sec, just while I rip off that, and then I can rinse. Just the you want to rinse yeah, the valve off? Yeah, just have that. That's it. That's all right. Connect the thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? Filter one. Oh, yeah. It's better off getting it yourself. <laughs> Got my hands full of squishy babies. This is gonna take forever. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if we can wedge something between the leather and the Probably. thing. Probably. It's going to be that's, that's what I reckon all this tape was. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm just writing on some tape. I'm not into graffiti. So. Yeah, she's put sticky tape down first, then she's writing on the sticky <laughs> tape. <laughs> Pull the lever, Crump. Yeah, okay. Strange to see into a K, put it put back. Oh, it's K, this is K? Yeah, cronk with a K. Better? That's better. Pull the, the lever, lever cronk. Wrong lever. And you can see how uh, we just wedged this in <laughs> so I don't have to hold it the whole time. Because I'm doing a football carry, this little one. Hey. Hey. Should you go figure out what your brother's doing? Yeah. All right, legends, that is the Birdsville track done and dusted. We are about to hit the Udna Data track, so join us next week as we head along the Udna Data track for a bit of a road to redemption. It'll be take two for us. Yeah, yep. I reckon we got it this time. We'll see how we go. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, see you guys.